Assalamualaikum. Here we are. I am Abdul Nirman Sumro from District Badi. I am first year veterinary student. Our presentation topic is blood collection analysis. So, right, let me introduce my group members. Anil here. I am from District Kumargod. My name is Adil Magi. I am from District Larkana. Kirti Maheshwari here from District Metro Khas. Assalamualaikum. Dr. Anita here from District Hyderabad. Assalamualaikum. My name is Dawn Nissa and I am from District Hyderabad. I am Alishma Ahmed Bhutto from District George Road. Me, Dr. Sumaira Bhutto from District Mithukhas. I am Taiba Junaju from District Badi. I am Ali Balaj from District Sangha. Hello guys, now so we are here in the uh, physiology laboratory. So we are uh, do, going to describe or do here our second part. Our second part is based on the blood analysis. So as we know that we had done the uh, first part that was about the blood collection and now the second part is its analysis. And the analysis includes which is uh, the hematological count. Hematological count. The hematological count includes the WBCs count, RBCs count, or platelets count, etc. etc. But we choose or prefer here the RBCs count. We are going to show you some uh, the instruments required for this uh, count and then we will just start on the procedure. The overview of the procedure, after the, giving the overview of the procedure, we will describe you that what had been done here and what are the results we got. So, uh, let's begin. Okay, so let's begin to show you the instruments. So, this is the blood sample we had collected yesterday, the ghost blood sample. And uh, this one is the RBC solution we are going to use here. And uh, this is the cover slip we are going to put over for uh, observation. Mm -hmm. This is known as RBC pipe, which is major part which is uh, used for blood sucking and uh, dropping and the counting chamber which is the major part which is going to be put here and uh, the blood sample would be analyzed on here and the major thing is for analysis these are binoculars or the microscope microscope uh, this one is a compound microscope so all of these instruments are going to be used for our video now let's go uh, begin with the procedure So now we are moving to the third part of presentation. So now I am calling to Dr. Sumera. 
In the greatest and glorious name of Allah, who is very beneficent and very merciful. Assalamu alaikum. I am Sumaira Bio. I am here to briefly demonstrate the presentation topic blood collection and analysis. So first of all, thanks to Sarada Baksh Kachiwal for giving this opportunity to all of to all of our group mates. So what is blood? Blood is such a collection of WBCs, RBCs, plasma, platelets, and so on. So the site of blood collection is variable in different animals like encephalic vein, in the spinous vein, recurrent tarsal vein, wing vein, and mostly in general vein. To collect the blood, we need an animal and we have goat. Before collecting blood, we should aware of safety rules. So we move towards our PPT. Remove the hair by shivering or clipping. Swab the skin with alcohol or tincture of iodine to remove all excessive contaminations. And we should wear masks. We should put on the uh, we should wear mask and gloves. We should remove the extra hair from the skin of animals. We should use steroid syringes. So the side of blood collection in horse. Blood is obtained from jugular vein and we use 21 gauge of middle. The vein is raised. We should raise the pressure from uh, to, to the thumb to the skin of horse. Needle is inserted in the center of vein. Plunger of syringe is gently pulled out of the skin. The side of blood collection in cattle like sheep, goats, uh, sheep, goat, and other animals. Blood is obtained and also in jugular vein. Uh, we use uh, 5.6 uh, cm and 16 gauge needle. And the remaining part of the presentation will be discussed by Dr. Anisa. So, from here, I will take the lead for the part of basic principle for blood collection. Approaching the animal. We have animal to approach the animal so that they can get the diary. They can get the diary. They can get the aggressive. Handling needle and restraining of an animal. We need to handle the needle so that we have to harm the animal. We need to restrain the animal. हम जानवर पर ऑपरेट कर रहे हैं तो जानवर हिले नहीं। गेज ऑफ मटेरियल नॉलेज। We got different gauges for different needles. The collecting tube and time knowledge and identification. We got different tubes for the different central collection of blood. Sighting the location of vein in the animal. We got three sites, three veins for the blood collection: spinous, cephalic, and jugular vein. We mostly use the jugular vein for the blood collection and time. Procedure. Apparatus we need. Choose animal. We have to choose animal, a healthy one, not a sick. Handles, the handles very necessary. If we are just operating on just taking them animals, we have to wear the handles. Tourniquet, if we are single person who is operating on the animal, we should use the tourniquet for sure. But we are, if the animal is, uh, is in our control, we should we maybe use the hand pressure. It's all up to our funds. Needle and syringes. Needle and syringes for the required kit. We got different needles for different animals for different dollars. Make it in a tube and it's and it's folded. Make it in a tube. We, uh, we got different packages, which is uh, identified by their holders, color holders, and uh, the hold the holder for which to put them. Vegetarian tube and its holder. We got different vegetarians by their colors and their caps. Alcohol paid in bandage. It's a necessary alcohol swab to swab the, to clean the part where we're gonna put the syringe. Process approach the animal gently and try a friendly behavior. When it is comfortable, try to handle it as per its behavior. We have to keep it normal with our animals. If we have to keep it aggressive, then we have to keep it aggressive. Once the animal is under control, just start the collecting sample. The sample should have followed the all required process. 
After wearing the gloves, checking the jugular vein, it's up to us. If we have jugular vein, if we don't get the tail, we can get the jugular vein tails. Apply pressure over the area of blood to vein that done by bending may be a tonic and cold on the neck or by the trumpet. Apply pressure over the area of blood to vein that done by bending may be a tonic and cold on the neck or by the trumpet. Inject the appropriate gaze to reach in six manner that it must be in inclined position. The sharpened edge of or tip of needle must be inside, must be inserted in and across the vein. हमें needle को इतने अंदर नहीं डालने के वो हमारी vein को damage करते हैं और वो जगह swell होता है. Make sure the needle is out of out or inserted more deeply in the arteries, which can lead to immediate swelling of the certain area. Pull the finger of the syringe. And plug the blood as per animals drawing brains be more be more dangerous for the men for them that could animal. Blood is an anthropological count or which is count or rather count. Blood analysis. The proper examination of a sample of blood used to obtain information about its physical and chemical properties. Hematological count. It used to it used to look at overall health condition and diagnosis. At a wide range of the disease, which may include anemia, body anemia, body infection, blood clot infection, leukemia, etc. It may invite the it may involve different tests, as hematological count, CBC test, and RBC count, and WBC count. Are one of the major tests. Are one of the major major tests. Our topic includes the specific RBC count test, RBC count of. And from the procedure for the procedure of our experiment, I would call the doctor Tava. So we, I uh, will explain the procedure of the two sides count in blood of the blood that is collected. So firstly, we need a pipette which contains a randy, and we draw in blood up to 0.5 mg of the pipette, and then we wipe the tip of the pipette, and then we dilute our blood. So for diluting, we uh, suck in. Diluting fluid up to 11 point of the pipette. Then we'll uh, get a green cover slip of the chamber, and then we'll shake the pipette to discard the few drops, and we'll uh, touch the tip of the pipette on the chamber and let the let capillary action do its work, and the blood will be uh, on the chamber. Make sure it's without any air bubbles. Allow the cell to set, settle in for a few minutes. We we'll leave it aside for a few minutes. Then we uh, locate the upper left chamber of our square, which contains 16 millions, 16 small squares, and then we count in cell in those 16 intermediate squares. And that's it for the procedure. So the result occupied for a erythrocytes count is 10 into 10 power 6 cubic millimeter. Thanks to our, my team, Creative Veterinarians, and I am extremely, extremely humble and grateful. Thank you so much and uh, for their efforts. Uh, they and thank and thank you so much for uh, watching and please subscribe share and like thank you